The uh, inside of a referral there all carved out and cleaned up. A little bit rough in places, not polished up too well, but then it's just for my own use. It's nothing, nothing I'm going to sell or anyone else is going to be dealing with. Found out why the, um, the cylinder's been decommissioned was there's a couple of little holes and cracks around this area and here, which are just patched up crudely with the TIG welder. And I'm assuming that that is why that ferrule has been smacked over. So some, rather than that, I originally thought that would have just been sort of uh, damage from uh, demolition guys ripping this out of a building because they're, they're pretty brutal. But I think if plumbers actually smack these at the top and bottom of that ferrule over, so it can't be used as a hot water cylinder again under pressure because of the, the fail failing around the top here. So he's probably just done that to stop someone salvaging it and uh, retasking it, like I've done. <laughs> but then again, um, with what I do with the whiskey still, um, it's not got anywhere near the pressure of a hot water cylinder. It's just basically the vapour coming off there is the pressure, and it, that's that's fairly minimal. Um, this guy here, my next mission this week is to hunt down a, a feral to replace that, so that I could put a. Uh, element in there and power the thing instead of powering it by gas, power it by electricity. Um, cool thing about these guys, these two outlets, is they actually have um, pipes running down on an, uh, a curve right down to the bottom of the, the cylinder. So I could start a siphon and actually drain the entire cylinder just using those guys. So yeah, that's the thing done, apart from um, replacing this ferrule. So we're running around this afternoon, uh, doing some fastenings to uh, fit my element into my uh, new stainless kettle that I've been building. Uh, it's the first time I've messed around with electricity. I'm a, I'm a gas guy so far with uh, distilling for the last couple of years. What I want to do is have my elements removable very, very easily. And I, I, hate, I hate threads. Threads are the devil. But uh, in this case, the way that hot water elements work, a one and a quarter inch thread is kind of um, unavoidable. Uh, the way I'm going to do it is uh, using tri clamps. That I love tri clamps. I'm going to weld one into the um, one tri clamp into the skin of the uh, the hot water cylinder I've got my, my new kettle, and I'm going to cut down another one and then the, the, the socket that I've got is way over length, I can probably get two two pieces out of that I'm going to trim down so it's just over length for the, uh, for the threaded section on this hot water cylinder um, element as you see I've got it a little bit over when I've cut that down and cut that tri-clamp down I weld the two together gives me a nice short uh, tri-clamp socket connection and will ensure that my element protrudes as far as I can and get it to in, into the uh, 
into the tank. So the, the wall of the tank will be about here. That's the theory. That's what I'm about to do now. I'm just going to whip these, whip these down with the angle grinder and the uh, sander. Same with that guy. And then weld the two, the two sections together. I have to do this twice because I've got two 3 kilowatt uh, elements going into that boiler. You know, it's going to be a, a six, 6 kilowatt beastie, which will be great for stripping runs. And here's my socket, one, one and a quarter inch socket there, and my uh, tri clamp. Now I've cut them down and uh, ground them, and they're going to be welded together like so. I might just run around, run a weld around the inside there. It's plenty of, plenty of room, it would look a lot nicer on the outside. I don't know yet. Uh, but when it's mounted together, that'll be my my element unit. So if I want to take the element out of the uh, out of the kettle, I just whip off the clamp, and the whole unit comes out like that for cleaning or, or whatever. So what I've got here is the two ferrules I've just welded onto the tank um, and two connections I've made up to old elements. And what I'll do is basically try clamp onto the onto the tank like this so that I don't have to keep undoing my uh, threaded joint, my thread, threaded uh, connection for the um, electric element. Uh, when I'm cleaning these up now is I've got myself some hydrofluoric paste. And this is this is it, uh, hydrofluoric pickling paste, pickling gel. Uh, that's a brand new container, otherwise I wouldn't be touching it with my bare hands. Just apply it with a brush onto onto any of the, the welded surfaces, and it gets rid of the the uh, discoloration on the metal and either black or that's left over. That'll come up uh, bright, stainless. I've patched a few bits on the top there. There were some perforations and stuff I found. It'll just get rid of any of that discoloration like that. So uh, I'll go and paint this stuff all over, and then uh, you hose it off afterwards and neutralise it with some lime or uh, carbonate. But uh, I'll go and do that now and show you how that looks when, it, when it's fixed up. Now uh, you can see I've painted the uh, pickling paste onto the ferrules where they've been welded. So we started to clean them up. Doesn't do anything dramatic. No sizzling or anything. It just sits there and eats all the tarnish and, and stuff off the stainless. Uh, if you do decide you want to use this and get hold of some, please be very, very careful. It is unforgiving. There's the, my gloves that I used. It's my wearing glasses at the time. I've got my um, welding coat on just in case. Not that I want to sacrifice my welding coat, but I'd rather sacrifice that than my arms, my skin. Um, this, as I say, this stuff is un just brutal. Don't touch your face. If you go to the loo, <laughs> wash your hands first uh, before you just you you touch yourself with this stuff, and you'll know straight away it feels like you're being um, stuck with a red hot burning piece of wire. Um, breathing wise, I'm doing it outside, as you can see. Uh, it's, in, there's, it's a nice little witch's brew. There's hydrofluoric acid in there. There's nitric acid. There's all sorts of stuff. It will gas off. And I know people that have got a lung full of it, and it, it screwed them. They've taken months to recuper recuperate, and that was from using it in confined places. Um, when you're painting it on, I used a long-handled brush that actually comes with the, uh, the pickling paste. When you're painting it on, just use really gentle, fluid strokes. Don't flick it. If you flick chunks of the paste everywhere, you, you, again, you'll, you'll get it on you, and you'll know about it straight away, because it will burn. Um, just be very, very smooth and very, very gentle with it. And again, outside, don't do it inside, you'll, you'll cook your lungs. Now this is the, um, the kettle after it's all been cleaned up, and uh, get all the cooking agent washed off it. The fuel around the top.
piece of ones that the pearls that my um, elements will screw into that will clamp onto the uh, into the kettle. Two two three hundred uh, two three kilowatt um, elements. Let's weld around that ferrule and that ferrule. Just nice and bright. And it comes out uh, a little dull, but that'll just buff back with the um, polishing wheel. So now at this point I've got uh, the tank all cleaned up, I've got the, uh, the welding all pickled, uh, it's all, all nice and clean. I've got the um, first element in there, there's the ferrules I made with the tri-clamp and the, the um, threaded one and a quarter inch socket. Um, elements just threaded into those, seals around there. Uh, and it white connects in into here, just, just a regular tri clamp fitting. PTF, PTF gasket there. Slides into there. All my seals with my taps and, and my um, bung there have got um, thread tape around them. Though. Not going to leak. So all remains now is to uh, move this out to the, towards the door and give it a, a a proper test with a seal test with by filling it up with water. I'll do that now. But uh, other than that, it's all will go apart from the electrics, and that's probably another video in itself.